Hi students, this session is about image sampling and quantization. We have an object that is to be captured using an imaging system. This can be a camera or any other imaging acquis image acquisition device. We have an illumination source, sun or any light sources. Now, suppose we have an image plane. It is an imaginary plane where this image is placed. So it has an X value and Y value. This is how this image, this image appears through this imaging system during image acquisition. So once this digital camera acquires this image or this object, it is converted to a digital image. Now this image is digital. So this process includes two steps. One is sampling. Second one is quantization. So what is it? So here x and y values, uh, uh, they don't have a, disc a discrete value. They are continuous. But once converted into digital form, x and y values should be discrete and finite as per the definition of digital image. So, digitizing the coordinate values is called sampling. Digitizing coordinate values. Now, this image has got certain gray level value. Those gray level values also must be discrete. So, converting or digitizing the gray level or intensity value is called quantization. Digitizing gray level values. So, that is sampling and quantization. So, once captured uh, the image, see the x value, y value, the x and y values, they are discrete. They are discrete. Okay. And uh, finite. They are discrete and finite. So, every cell, every cell has a discrete and finite gray level value also. So, this is an example of the input image and the corresponding digitized image. So, consider this pixel. See this pixel. In reality, the shape of the object, the shape of the object moves like this. But once converted, we don't have any gray level value over the same pixel here. This, this is the same position. Because only less than 50% of the image comes under this pixel. So this is removed. But here, more area is covered in this region. So it is included totally. Because we don't have a minor divisions for a pixel. A pixel means the complete value. We don't have a further division for a pixel. Because it consumes more memory. Now, uh, when we consider a 1024 by 1024 image, this quantization process may not be visible for us. But if you are considering a 32 by 32 image, it may be more visible. So, this is an example of how an image can be converted to a digital form. It includes to process sampling and quantization. Now consider a line AB that is drawn from this point to here. So here it is almost a white uh, gray level value. So the corresponding plot of gray level value is shown here. So this is white corresponding to this point. Here also this B comes.
it is white now from this point to this point we can see here the corresponding gray level values they are continuous so during quantization during quantization see we have certain points we have certain points over here these points are the result of sampling so each gray level value is digitized to the corresponding digital value so this is the result of our sampling and quantization this is sampled result and this is the quantized result so each gray level value in the image is converted to a digital form so that's all about sampling and quantization thank you for listening